By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to define the characteristics of the cooperative learning model, identify the types of cooperative learning strategies, identify the basic elements of cooperation learning, know the advantages of implementing cooperative learning in a classroom. Hello everybody. And welcome to Univ English channel. It's all my pleasure to meet you again in this series of e-learning lectures, aimed at developing your knowledge and skills in the area of didactics and pedagogy, to reach teaching learning quality. But, before we move forwards, if you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. For more information, you are invited to visit my website, english.mokerma.com. So, let's begin with this question. How can you define cooperative learning situations? What is the cooperative learning model? Cooperative learning is a teaching learning strategy in which students work together to solve problems. This model encourages students to share their knowledge and work together to achieve a common goal. In a cooperative learning environment, students are given specific tasks that they need to complete in order to learn. This helps them gain essential skills and knowledge while also having fun. According to Johnson et al. 1991, Cooperative learning is an educational tool in which small groups of students work together to increase individual, as well as, group member learning. Cooperative learning exists when students work together to achieve joint learning goals. Also, Slavin, 1996, defines cooperative learning as instructional programs in which students work in small groups to help one another master academic content. Types of Cooperative Learning Different types of cooperative learning can help students learn and work together more effectively. Group work, for example, lets students share the responsibility for completing a task and helps them build trust and teamwork skills. In contrast, individualized learning lets each student pursue their own goals independently while still benefiting from the class as a whole. Online collaborative tools like Google Docs or Whiteboard allow students to work on projects together from anywhere in the world. Cooperative learning strategies include 1. Group work collaborative learning 2. Tasking individual learning 3. Self-directed learning 4. Cooperative learning model Accordingly, the cooperative learning model is a set of methods and strategies used by teachers to promote student cooperation, interaction and them help develop the skills necessary for successful collaborative learning. History of cooperative learning Cooperative learning is an old idea, Johnson, Johnson, and Hollybeck, 2015. Johann Amos Comenius, 1592 to 1679, argued that by teaching and being taught, students would benefit. In the late 1700s Joseph Lancaster and Andrew Bell used cooperative learning groups extensively in England, and the idea was introduced into America when the Lancaster School was opened in New York City in 1806. But, the history of cooperative learning has been traced back to the early 1800s, when it was first used by Marie Montessori. However, it was not until the 1960s that cooperative learning became popular again with the publication of the Cooperative Learning Experience by Donald J. Clune and David Fenimer. Over time, cooperative learning has evolved into an integral part of many educational programs. Today, cooperative learning is used in classrooms all over the world to help students build teamwork skills and problem-solving abilities. Jigsawing is the most popular form of cooperative learning that divides students into groups with each student having a different responsibility for one part of the project. This method is often used in subjects in STEM subjects as it has been shown to be highly effective in developing higher order skills such as complex problem solving, creativity, and critical thinking. Basic Elements of Cooperation Learning Cooperative learning structures are a type of educational environment that encourages students to work together to achieve a common goal. There are many different types of cooperative learning structures, 
but the most common is the group project. In group projects, students divide up the responsibilities of the project and work together as a team to complete it. This allows students to learn how to cooperate and communicate effectively. Johnson and F. Johnson, 2009, claim that five essential elements need to be carefully structured into the situation that allow successful small group learning and reach the full potential of the group. 1. Positive interdependence. 2. Individual and group accountability. 3. Promotive interaction. 4. Appropriate use of social skills. 5. Group processing. Teachers have to align with these principles in order to master the basic elements of cooperation. Accordingly, teachers have to 1. Adapt existing lessons, curricula, and courses and structure them cooperatively. 2. Tailor cooperative learning materials to unique instructional needs, circumstances, curricula, subject areas, and learners. 3. Identify the problems that students may have in performing teamwork and evaluate strategies to improve their effectiveness. Active learning and student engagement. Active learning is a pedagogical approach that asks students to become actively involved in the learning process. This involves engaging in activities that promote retention of information and help students learn to think critically. In order to be an effective active learners, students need to have a positive attitude and be engaged in their surroundings. Engaged learners are more likely to retain information and engage with new material. Student engagement is central to the success of any course and will influence student learning outcomes. This is due to research that has shown that students learn better when they are engaged in the teaching learning process, rather than when they are passively listening to a lecture. Implementation of Cooperative Learning The goal of cooperative learning is for students to develop a sense of ownership over the learning process and to learn from each other. There are several ways to implement cooperative learning, but one common approach is for the teacher to provide guidelines for group work and then leave the students to their own devices. This type of teaching allows for a variety of group dynamics to develop, including cooperation, competition, collaboration, and dominance. Cooperative learning is one of the most effective ways to increase student achievement. Research indicates that students develop higher levels of learning when they work together as a group. In addition, cooperative learning can be implemented in a variety of settings, including the classroom and at home. Here are the steps. Identify the purpose of cooperative learning. Design a plan for cooperative learning by creating a classroom environment that is conducive to group work. Differentiate between cooperative and competitive learning. Select the methods that will be used to teach cooperative learning. Explain cooperative learning to students by giving examples of successful cooperative projects. Provide incentives for group work and individual behavior. Evaluate the effectiveness of cooperative learning. Develop a plan to implement cooperative learning. The purpose of cooperative learning is to help students learn more easily and to encourage them to become more independent, self-reliant, and cooperative so they can develop their competencies and skills. Design a system for monitoring progress in cooperative learning. Adopt and adapt teaching methods to prepare students for cooperative learning. Decide on a specific method for learners to use in working together. Demonstrate the concept of cooperation as you plan for cooperative learning activities. Conclusion, what is the future of cooperative learning? The cooperative learning model is an excellent way to promote teamwork and collaboration among students. It can help to build relationships and create a sense of community in the classroom. Additionally, it can also help students to learn from one another and develop their problem-solving skills. Teachers can use cooperative learning to create a more interactive classroom environment and help students learn more effectively. There are many different opinions on the future of cooperative learning, but there is no doubt that it has a lot of potentials. Some believe that cooperative learning will be replaced by more individualized teaching methods, while others believe it will become even more popular as teachers find new ways to use it in their classrooms. Whatever the future holds for cooperative learning, one thing is for sure, it's still an important part of education today.